to tell if you are a 90s child. Number one. Munchables, Wing Pops, Dunkaroos, um, and the Drink Squeezers. I remember, I, I, I also remember Pop Rocks was part of the generation, and then the, um, the Wing Pops, and then they looked like, they looked like lip gloss, it was like, um, Oh, what was those things, guys? They looked like lip gloss, and then you take it out, and, it, and then it turns into a sucker. Yeah, I remember those. And then, number two, the TV shows. <laughs> Captain Planet was your hero. Along with the Maniacs, Doug, 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 the Rugrats, version, the younger 90s kid generation that we all love, the Rugrats and uh, Tommy and the twins and uh, Chucky, that all started going to hell when, when the 90s kid actually watched the Rugrats and there was a Chucky and then there was actually a Chucky movie that is really looks like the Chucky in the Rugrats. If you kind of, you cross paths between the Chucky movie and the Rugrats version of Chucky. And he has red hair, glasses, the whole thing. It, it's, you will be like really frightened when you compare those two together. I remember them watching Rugrats when I come home for save school. And hey on, hey on, as told by Ginger, Sister, 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 sister. <laughs> and many other 90s classics like Boy Meets World and so on and so on. Number three, the games. We all love games. 90s was all about the video games. Not like now with the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, Fortnite. Uh, well, we did have the Sims, but we had to play it. What we had to do when we had to play The Sims, we had to go to the store and buy The Sims and then put it into the PlayStation and play it like that. That was how we had to play The Sims, basically. Not like, now you can download it on this device and just start playing. But that's how we played it back then. Um, the Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario. Um, we have so many other games out there, Fantasia. Um, ATV four wheeler games. Um, we had a lot of racing car games. So much, so much, so much. And then, am I number three? Um, number four, the Sony Walkman and the Discman for portable tunes as the millennial portable. The millennials would known as the cell phone apps like Pandora, Spotify, I, I, um, so on, so on. Um, as the portable music player. Like we had the millennials, we had the iPod. The iPod was part of our generation, like the CD player. Believe me, if I show you a CD player, you would be like, oh my gosh, what the hell is that? <laughs> All right? Um, the Sony Walkman, the Discman for portable tunes. The Sony Walkman was like a portable CD player. We actually be able to record stuff on the Sony Walkman. It's like now we can record audio and then on our phones, but with the Sony Walkman, you can actually record audio really, very battle with a microphone. So that's what, it, and then we had to walk, we can actually. I guess you power walk back then. Back then, we didn't have these things. We didn't have these on the side. We had to hold it in our hands. It was very difficult. Um, let's see. My hand, let's see. We're on number six. 90s toy collection craze. Yes, the 90s love the collection toys craze. I still have some of my 90s craze toys like the Barbie dolls, G.I. Joe, Polly Pockets, Beanie Babies, Legos, so much, 
so much toys. <laughs> we were we were all about toys, like Toys R Us. Toys R Us was the main part of our childhood toy store until it closed, sadly. Number seven, all about music here <laughs> again. Ace of Base, Hanson, and the Spice Girls, and Backstreet Boys, and In Sync. It was all about bands, basically. Mainly bands, unless there was a soul artist. Oh yeah, Aaron Carter was one of the soul artists. He was a 90s kid, 90s um, singer. The Spice Girls, Aaron Carter, Hanson, Ace of Base. Um, I believe Hilary Duff was in the 90s, I think so. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not that musically inclined, <laughs> okay? And then the ultimate insults. Number seven, right? Oh no, was I number one? Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, number seven. We are on lucky seven, seven, seven. The ultimate insult was as if, as if, <laughs> or oh, talk to the hand. <laughs> um, those were the main insults in the 90s, um, they still brought up OMG, LOL, OMG, um, as if, <laughs> as if, <laughs> or, or the other one, it says, talk to the hand, talk to the hand, okay, and then number eight. Remember renting movies from video stores on VHS? Well, back in the 90s, we had to do that. We had no Netflix. There was no streaming network on Disney Plus or Netflix or Hulu or any other streaming network that you have. We had to go to the video store. If we wanted to watch a movie on Friday night with our family, we had to go to the video store. Oh, nine! AOL was the internet. We did not have Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox back in the 90s. It was mainly, we did not have Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi was connected to the landline and it was known as dial-up internet. I remember constantly when I had to get online to do homework, to do schoolwork, I had to literally wait for the person to get off the phone so I can go online and do my work, do research. Or sometimes if the person is on the phone all night, I literally had to go to this place called the library to get online so I can actually do my work and actually get stuff done. It was, it was very kind of hard and very difficult. Yes, very hard and difficult. And sometimes, um, AOL was the internet, and sometimes we had a little disc. I wish today I still had that disc to show you, to show you. This disc was the internet. So, to get online, you had to put the disc in of AOL, and then it comes back up, and you're online. And, um... That's how we had to do it. We didn't have Wi-Fi like today. So yeah, it's being Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi connection just blinked out. Okay. And number 10, number 10. <laughs> Lisa Frank was a huge fan to the art community. I don't know who that is, but I seen this list online when I was researching this stuff. And apparently she was a huge fad in the 90s. Um, like millennials nowadays have the fads of One Direction or, um, what's that one fad that, that one singer? Like, she was an influencer, basically. She was more as an influencer to the art community. Not like movies and television. Um, to the internet community. Um, the art community, like art, like uh, paintings. That community. <laughs> that kind of art. <laughs> Something that I can't do. I cannot draw. I used to be, I used to be good at drawing art, but I just can't draw, basically. I can't draw a thing now. The only thing 
thing I could draw for you is a stick figure. <laughs> okay? So that is top 10 of if you are a 90s kid. I am a 90s kid. I was born in 1993, which in the 90s, if you're a 90s kid, it would be 90 to 99. Um, a millennial. The millennial is super, super fast with techie world. Fast learners, smart phone age, impatient, less family values and cultural as they have not seen us follow. Millennials is the TikTok generation. Which, which that's what it is, 90s kid generation. So, alright, so that is pretty much it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me all over the internet of After Me Sorry.